Let's make some big, delicious chicken burritos. I'll show you how I make my burritos using leftover rotisserie chicken, Mexican spices, and lots of other goodies my family loves. When I have leftover rotisserie chicken, I usually end up making chicken burritos or enchiladas. These burritos are easy to make, and I can make them to everyone's individual taste, and I can use what I have in my refrigerator and pantry. I have a great white chicken enchilada recipe on my channel, and I will leave a link in the show more box below. I'm starting by making the chicken mixture for the burritos. In my skillet on medium heat, I'm adding in a couple tablespoons of oil and three quarter cups each of diced onion and bell peppers. Cooking and stirring for a couple minutes, and then I'm adding in three cloves of minced garlic. Cooking and stirring for another minute. And these are the Mexican blend of spices that I'm using. I have one tablespoon of taco seasoning, one teaspoon each of oregano, cumin, and chili powder, and a quarter teaspoon each of white pepper and salt. I'm adding the spices to the pan, stirring and cooking for a minute to wake up and blend those flavors. Just be careful not to burn the spices. Adding in one four ounce can of chopped green chilies with the juices, giving that a stir to mix. I have about three cups of shredded rotisserie chicken. I'm adding the chicken to the pan and giving it a good mix to get all the chicken coated and heated through. I have some homemade salsa that I made this past summer. It is mildly hot and I'm adding in a good three tablespoons to the chicken. You can use the salsa of your choice, giving that another good toss to incorporate. The burrito chicken mixture is done and I'm removing it from the heat, covering and setting to the side. For the extra fillers or goodies in the burritos, I have some shredded lettuce, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and avocados. This is where you can individualize the burritos to everyone's taste. Use what you have or what you like. For another filler, I also have some black beans that I heated through and I'm adding in a couple tablespoons of my salsa. If I have any extra rice, I use that with the mixed in salsa instead of the beans. I'm using the big 12 inch flour tortilla wraps for the chicken burritos. I have a lot of items and good flavors going into these burritos, so I need a big tortilla. I'm lightly heating them in my cast iron pan to make them pliable and take out that raw flavor. Heating them for about 20 to 30 seconds on each side on low heat. And finally, we are ready to assemble these big chicken burritos. First, I'm laying down the shredded cheese, and I use a sharp cheddar cheese. The cheese kind of holds and glues everything together. A good couple spoonfuls of the chicken mixture. Now the black beans. A couple spoonfuls of salsa for a little sauce or moisture. And I also like a little squeeze of lime that wakes up all those flavors in the burrito. It brings some brightness and freshness. We love avocados, so they are a must in the burrito. A sprinkle of onions. For some heat, I'm adding in some slices of jalapenos. Some fresh chopped tomatoes. A handful of shredded lettuce. And finally, a couple dollops of sour cream. And that's about all I can fit into this burrito. And you know the next part. Bring in the sides and give it a roll. I'm calling this chicken burrito done, but you could also put this back into the pan on low heat and lightly toast on both sides. 
Put the burrito seam down first so it doesn't fall apart. As you can see, this big chicken burrito is chock full of flavors and textures. So good! You can make the burritos your own and the way you like them. Hopefully my recipe will give you some ideas. Serving tonight with refried beans and more lime. I hope you give this chicken burrito recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!